Today I'm going to go for a cool movement. So it's a 180 degree handstand push up if you want to call it that. Or I like to think of it as two of my favorite exercises, the uh, L-sit to shoulder stand and the handstand push up. So you can combine them together. And it can be done in different ways. You can do it in a very strict, slow manner, or you can do it in a fast way, uh, or you can break it down into its components if you're not quite there for the full movement yet. Now, if you're not doing L-sit to shoulder stand, uh, add it to your program. I think it's a great exercise. Um, I learned it off Edo, um, taking it from a movement on the P-bars uh, all the way up into the rings. You can do it in a tuck position and you can do it in an open position. The cool thing with the L sit to shoulder stand is it can be done on uh, chairs, boxes, rings, P bars, L sit, shoulder stand, straight position, flat back, or anything in between. Easier version is to go from shoulder stand to L sit. Now, I have some videos specifically on that movement. I'm not going to go through it in detail today, but I'm just going to show you how I combined it the other day. So, I used the easier progressions to the full movement, so the 180 degree handstand push up, as a warm up for myself. Uh, if you're not quite there with the full movement, I'll take you through the progressions now or the regressions of the movement and how you can break it down and coach it or learn it yourself. So, I trained it on the boxes, so on the plyo boxes. Um, now, obviously, you could do it on anything, but the height is going to change how much you can open the transition. So you can see here on the full movement, I used yoga blocks to create the clearance for my legs to come through in more of a straighter line. So for the warm up, this is my favorite handstand push up warm up at the moment. So I actually prefer this over the pike push ups. So instead of pike handstand push ups, I'm doing this one on the box where I take the head and the shoulders below. Uh, or you can make it even harder where you start to take the knees off as well. And then you can make it bigger and bigger and start to open the legs up. Depends on whether this movement is a warm up for you or if this is challenging. If it's challenging, then obviously this needs to be the exercise for you. And you need to do something slightly easier as a warm up. So maybe some traditional push ups or dips. Then we've got the L sit to shoulder stand. You see, I'm going in the tuck position on those high boxes and just going between the two. Now, I do have slight external rotation of the hands to push the elbows into my sides. Harder version is to go from a straight, so keep the knees higher than the hip crease. And the same in the shoulder stand, you can stay in that tuck position or you can open it up. So that's warming both the handstand push up and the L sit to shoulder stand transition. Okay, and then I'm doing the same thing and I've added the yoga blocks to get that clearance. So now I can do the transition with a straighter body. Now this could be just be done as the eccentric, so the down only, so you'd start on the shoulder stand and then come down, or you can do it on the way up. Now you'll see on the way up, my hips close a little bit, which makes it a little bit easier. So if you don't quite have that straight, so if you can't do the transition with fully straight, you can go somewhere in between and have a slight close in the hips. And then I'm doing the same thing, but adding a little bit of a push up. There's like a partial range handstand push up. Okay, now we have two options with the movement. We could do an eccentric. Now you need to be able to, if you're gonna do the eccentric, you need to be able to do a handstand on the box and show control. Now ideally this would be done freestanding. If you don't quite have the balance and control, you could do something similar up against the wall, so your toes are sliding down the wall, but it gets a little bit sketchy on doing the transition into the uh, L-sit. So you might want to separate the movements. So then you could do a eccentric handstand push-up and then a shoulder stand to L-sit separately. But if you can do it, the ideal way of doing it is just to do the down on the two boxes or on whichever surface you're using. Then we could do the full movement, but to use momentum. Uh, momentum created from the L-sit to the shoulder stand and then do like a bit of a kip in the legs to get out of the handstand push up up to a handstand. Now, some people might actually find this easier than a super slow controlled eccentric. So that would actually be a good way of training it to doing super slow controlled eccentrics and then doing the concentric, but using momentum to get up in through the movement. And then eventually the hardest variation is to go as slow as possible, trying to keep the body as open as possible. Now you'll see here that I don't quite get the movement perfect because I've got a slight close in the hip. And then when I go through the very slow handstand push up, see how my legs open a little bit? Ideally, I'd want my body to stay as one segment, not to open the legs. And there's a very slight banana as well. So I want to improve that by keeping everything dead straight. And obviously, if you're doing the slow concentric, trying to do a slow eccentric to finish as well. So that's a cool one. You can break down into lots of different levels. Normal deal. Stick any comments below uh, or ask any questions. Send me messages or stick it in the comments. Thumbs up and subscribe will be appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.